quite unique uh, graphics on the front. That certainly tells us what it is. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, in case we didn't yes, know. Yes. Yeah. Can we hear her then? We can, yep. Well, welcome right. to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And today oh, I'm back to see Ruben at Northern Modern and Classic, who has completed the transformation of the white 911's engine, installed it, and is ready to turn it over for us. Firstly, though, a French wonder. Not quite a barn find, but it has sat in a field near a barn for a number of years, so it qualifies on that count. One thing that surprised me on moving to Melbourne was the abundance of Peugeot 504 saloons still doing the rounds. Yet still more surprising was the high regard Australians held the Peugeot brand in. Almost up there with the Germans, despite the rickety plastic and reported questionable reliability of some cars in the 90s and early 2000s. The 504 and its successor, the 505, had no such problems though. It's a common how belief that their quick demise in the eyes of UK motorists and those here in Australia was the apparent fact every single one of them seemed to be swept up and shipped off to West Africa by the end of the 90s. Not this one though, here's Ruben to get us up to speed. One, two, three, 70s or 80s wagons. Well, 70s designed, eh? They would have been. Uh, it certainly them. was, yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely that. So, yeah, those two. Um, so, Ruben, tell us a bit about this one. Apparently, it's... Um, so this car I've acquired, unfortunately, my partner's father passed away a couple of years ago and this was on his property. Um, it's been... it was on his property, but when did he park it up? So... That's, that's a good question. Sometime around 2014, I think. So it's been sitting for a very long time. Right, okay. Yeah. Well used? Well used. Um, was it, so is his farm, is his daily, yeah? Uh, when it was running, yes, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. And did he have it new, from new? No, but I think he had it for sort of 10, 15 years, something like that. Uh, as an and operating it's one car. that didn't uh, find its way to to Africa. Yes, yes, not right. many of these left here, I believe. Now, but um, it's not just your everyday SL or SR or anything. We have got an extremely rare, I would imagine, a GTI in the wagon, huh? I imagine it would be. Yeah. Okay, so but this is a uh, this is now yours? It is, it is. So the objective is to, first of all, get it running. Yeah. Um, so at the moment I've got the fuel system out. I've cleaned the tank, started plumbing new hoses, two new pumps in it, injectors have been cleaned, new pressure regulator, all that sort of stuff. So right. the idea being that I'll uh, put a battery in it and put some fuel in it and it should just start. Can we have a look? Yeah. Underneath. Right. And uh, you haven't got that point yet though? Uh, midway through. Right, okay. It's one of those uh, not much spare time situations. Is it a keeper for you? I mean, you can see some use out of this. Just, um, just haven't. Hopefully. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I've got to do something with it. It's one right. of those things. Well, so it'll be, yeah, a case of getting it running. The brakes are all seized, so I'll have to go through the calipers and the drums. Yeah. Um, Sort of get it to a point where it can drive and see how it drives, take it from there. Right, right. Uh, fortunately, it's not rusty, which is good. Yeah. So the paint's so, pretty hammered, as you can probably tell. But, yeah. Um, yeah, very little rust, which is sort of surprising. Because it was not under any sort of cover for the time it sat. But uh, up country, though, was it? Or? Yeah. So pretty dry in uh, it? Where, where? In Victoria? Sort of. Um, Victoria? Just, just outside of Mount Beauty, so... Oh, right. Not like, so the driest sort of... climate, I guess. No, but... no. We've just had a few bumps and scrapes. It's certainly um, seen some I'm Trying to remember country. how to open the bloody bonnet. Country view. <laughs> oh, it's got to be on that side, hasn't it? I think it might no, it'll be. be on this side, wouldn't it? I thought it was. Uh... I can't remember. Surely I've only it opened on it two side. or three times. <sighs> Where is it? Where is it? Peugeot Where is that going. It? That's it. All right, there we go. Now, I wonder how many... I used to love 505 GTI, the, the, the 
the sedans or bloody hell. Saloons, what am I talking about? Saloons back in, I couldn't even nearly forgot, I've been here too long now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go through, what we, uh, what have you done? Um, not a great deal in here yet. I've spent a lot of time cleaning it. Yeah. Um, it's just absolutely chockers with leaves and grease and oil and whatever else, so. Yeah. It's been the most time consuming thing thus far. Yeah, um, even, yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. Be, uh, shot through on these yeah so some of this sort of stuff these steel bits and pieces i'll probably go through and blast and powder coat and right. sort of tidy things up a bit but yeah i'm going to try to not go so overboard no, no. Um, but yeah other than that the only thing i've really done in here is pull the fuel rail off um, that's been re-zinc plated and as yeah. i said the injectors have been overhauled so that is actually ready to go back on and when i get a minute what else we got oh so here's the fuel rail off the Peugeot, ready to go. So you've had that uh, anodized... Uh, Re-zinc plated, yeah. Re-zinc plated, yeah. Sort of yeah, trying to stop myself from doing things like this right. in my car, but it was a little bit rusty. Yeah. So where do you go for that? Um, sometimes sterling plating just down the road, otherwise Jai in there, um, he helps me out with it. Oh, he, got... he does a lot of prep and, and organises it for me, yeah. In the way of, yeah, but he's not got a bath and everything for it. No, it? he does all the prep and, and has someone he deals with for it. That, right, um, okay. Yeah, it does a really good job. The finish is bang on, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have we got um, parts place, uh, Peugeot parts place in, in, in Melbourne? Um, not really, actually. Not, no. not that I've found. Um, I haven't really thus far actually had to acquire any new parts for it. Right. Um, you know, the injectors have just been reconditioned. Yeah. Um, fuel pressure regulator I actually got from one of my really regular suppliers, which was handy. Just uh -huh. a generic sort of Bosch thing from the era. Yeah. Same with the fuel pumps. It's all just very generic yeah, sure. Bosch. Um, yeah. Bosch stuff from this era. So th that sort of consumable stuff's easy enough to get. I, I imagine getting things like ball joints and suspension parts, maybe not so much, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, I guess. Yeah, sure. Like these trim pieces are going to be, well, that's yeah, pretty oh. good back, I suppose, to put that's, under a few encyclopedias for six months. Yeah, <laughs> sort of thinking I might try heating them up and, yeah, them and up. slowly bending them or something, because, yeah. Um, yeah, I suspected it'd be a struggle to, to find those in better condition. But this, um, you know, sort of original paint, isn't it? Would you... I'd say so, by and large. I mean, maybe it's probably had a few bits and pieces here and there, but, yeah. Would you consider thin. leaving it as just, you know just that parched uh, sort oh, yeah. of um, yeah. survivor sort of style? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually don't really have any plans to paint it at nah. all. Just leave it as it is. Nah. Um, Try to fix that up just before it starts yeah, blowing out. Sort really. of blow bits in here and there, but yeah. Nah, I think this. Uh, but I'll do. You know, we'll get some paintless dent removal done on it, and probably paint the wheels up and. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, make it neat, but not paint it. Yeah, cool. Oh no, that's going to be awesome. Especially, like I say, I mean, GTI wagons. You're not going to see many of them around now. No, and, and the fact that it's manual's a nice touch too. Oh, sort of yeah. does actually make me want to keep it. Yeah, definitely. Well, keep me in mind if you don't. Because I'm, <laughs> uh, I absolutely adored these things. Well, I do. And the interior is pretty bloody amazing hell, too. It's you know no cracks in the dash, nothing. Yeah, bolsters bloody. And I haven't you know sort of gave it a quick vacuum, but yeah, the dash and that's what that's been treated to the sun for God knows how many years, isn't it? Yeah, the front of the car did have a bit of shade on it by way of a tree, but can I treat this gonna... Yeah, no, you should yeah. be fine. Yeah. Why not? Let's get out here. God Almighty! Well, that certainly uh, survives better than a Mercedes dash. Yeah, 100%. Bloody hell. God, yeah, yeah. I, I was thoroughly impressed by the interior. I remember this being uh, a friend's brother when I was 18. Yeah. I was delivering pizzas in a Mark 1 Astra 1300 GL <laughs> and he had one of these. Oh, cool. He, <laughs> he used to storm across the city delivering yep. pizzas in, uh, in his GTI. I don't know... 
how much money he actually earned at the end of the night, with how quick he was, and uh, yeah, using one of these to do pizza delivery. But God, bloody hell, look the the roof is great. God. Yeah, it really doesn't need much um, on the inside. Does your, um, Just a good your other half remember sitting in the back of this? Because yeah. it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like no, it. No, there's not much sitting in the back, I think. And um, it does also have the third row of seats as yeah. well. So it's all yeah. intact. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we have a look at that? That's a good little reminder for everybody, that third row. Oh, right, no, it's under, under a few things there. Oh, we'll see it next time. We'll see it next time. Wow, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Okay, so it's finally done then. Yep, got the finished product. All right, tell us a little bit about what uh, what was it in for and what we were going to do. So, what as, have you done? as we may remember, this was the one that was being converted to carbs. Um, so that's all done now and back in. Yeah. Put about 70 kilometres on it. Uh huh. Uh, it's been dynoed, it made 199.8 or something like that horsepower at the wheels, so pretty happy with that result. Yeah, um, yeah. And what yeah. would that have been out of the factory? At the wheels, I have no idea, but uh, something like this, I don't know, probably 140, 50 horsepower right, okay. at the flywheel, maybe a bit more. Yeah. I honestly don't know. I'd have to check. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Though, yeah, you sort of... Family you know, runabout does... Uh... Yeah, but I guess with the Porsche stuff, it's sort of not too much of a focal point. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, yeah, the way it is now, it's, it's really good. Goes good, easy to drive. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. And you, can you feel that extra oomph? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. The throttle response anywhere is a lot better, and the power right up top's quite a bit better. Yeah, so for, it's okay. yeah, a good result. All right, then let's uh, show us your wares. Take us through it. There we go. God almighty, that looks beautiful. This has been detailed, so unfortunately, my little plan to arrive and go out for a spin with you has not materialised, but uh, that's understandable. Yeah, I, I can probably manage to start it for you, though. No, you know, right, be able to do that. Well, take us through. What, what do we got? So we've got a pair of uh, PMO 40 carburetors on it, uh -huh. um, which is sold as a kit. Yep. So that's their air cleaners, their manifolds, their fuel pressure regulator, etc. cetera. Um, distributors being overhauled, recurved, converted to electronic. Um, Bunch of detail work, plating, powder coating, painting, blasting, etc. Fabricated new wiring loom for the engine. Yep. Um, just to sort of pair it back and simplify things, being that the you know sort of half the wiring loom from the K Jet stuff's redundant. Yeah. Um, and that's all yeah. able to go back in should uh, future. Yeah, well, that was, or... Yeah, that was the other aspect of it. So the, the factory loom's still intact. Um, so if for whatever reason it wanted to go back to cage it, it would be pretty easy. Yeah. Likewise with the fuel system. Yeah. Sort of up to, you know, up to where the lines come out of the chassis is yeah. otherwise standard, so. Yeah. It's all reversible. Cool. Okay. Well, it wasn't just that, so I mean, it's got a spectacular interior, some novel and um, quite unique uh, Graphics on the front, that certainly tells us what it is. Yes, it does, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, in case we didn't know. Yeah. Um, God, yeah, lovely. Lovely interior. Can we, uh, yeah. can we hear her then? We can, yeah. Let's have a look at that. So we don't rec this the, the cloth's not going to be original, is it? Would you say? Or? It's been re-trimmed, re but it, it, is it a good option tartan like that? Um, whether or not it's original to this car, you as far as the way it's spec, I, I don't know. Yeah, but um, certainly enough. combinations like this were available. The family, uh, it's not it's not the owner started his name with Muck or anything like that. It's not a, a, a Irish, uh, sorry, a Scottish. Oh, Mac. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. That All was right. most definitely not, but no. Then. No. No, he's not a Mac. All right. Three pumps. Yeah. 
So just idle it up a bit with the hand throttle for about three or four minutes and then it idles happily. All right. Uh, and even with, with carbies, new carbies today, there's still going to be that same kind of, it, not as exaggerated I suppose, but not same sort of issue of, that they would have had in the older days, that's why we went over to injection or yeah. start up and whatever. Yeah, I mean this style of carburetor, they still don't have a, a, a choke mechanism at all, so yeah. yeah, to start cold it's sort of two or three pumps and it'll you know, nine times out of ten fire up straight away, yeah. so... Yeah. What are you saying? What's, um... The uh, fuel usage is going to... Obviously, it's going to uh, get to be used a few more litres of fuel than what I think. Yeah, I don't doubt that it will. It sort of remains to be seen how much, but... I'm sure it will to some extent. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a daily, so... No, no, exactly. Mind you, I'd have it as a daily if I, if I could afford it. I'd... Yeah. We run out of the two. So what do you reckon about, few, about three, four minutes to come down? Yeah, it'll probably idle now, to be honest. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Oh yeah. yeah it's Which, idling a little bit slow because it's cold. It does pick up a bit to sort of 850, 900 RPM when it's hot. Is that all? Right. Yeah. Okay. Well. And this one's going back. Uh, is that all complete now? Ready? Yeah, for it's the... all done. It's been detailed, ready to go. So. Wow. It's actually, uh, as of yesterday, just had a ceramic coating, so it's looking. Yeah, extra shiny. Certainly is. Yeah. Certainly is. Alright. Beautiful. How was this a common backdate you're putting on these injections? Um. The 70s injections? Nowadays, or? doing this sort of thing was probably more common 10 or 15 years ago. But oh, right. you know, with the values of these cars and the importance, you know, sometimes the importance of originality, you know, probably don't see a lot of this sort of thing as much. Yeah. But yeah. Does that cage jet? Does it get um, recon? Do they recon yeah, those units? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they pretty reliable once they're done? Yes, yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, they are. Yeah, it's right. not a bad system at all. Right. It's when it's running right and sorted, it's yeah, it can, can be a really good thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just don't have the sound, eh? No. <laughs> or the look, and, and you know, it, yeah. it, it, they do make power, but yeah. Now that that uh, the carby systems in there, you're wondering what filled that space. It's a bit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Before then, <laughs> sort of part of the reason why I put the effort I did into making it appear nice and detailed, yeah, yeah. and is, nice. you know, so suddenly you see a lot more. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. The metal that we can see, the yeah, valve covers, the valve covers. That was ice. Uh, no, those are just cleaned. Just cleaned. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you did a good job on that. Thanks, mate. All right. Yeah, it's, that's a bit more like it. Yep. Oh, it's kind of like, yeah, smashing. You don't see many white ones, do you? Do you? Uh, not always, no. 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 It does look one. good. You can't really go one. wrong. Yeah. White with some black accents. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Up to temp so, now. So, uh, oh, right, up to temp. This yeah. is about where I do, yeah? Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, she sounds great. 
Oh, that'd be one happy, uh, one happy owner, I guess. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Yeah. How many hours you put in there? Oh, I'd have to look at the invoice oh. a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. All right, mate. Cool. All right. Thanks for that. If you love this video, you're going to absolutely love this one. So click on the screen and watch that. And I'll see you in the next video.